basically, there are two indie developers that just need to put their name to a game and I will buy it. Uh, the first being Sam Barlow um, for games such as uh, Her Story and Telling Lies. And the other is Mike Biffle, who I first came across with Thomas Was Alone and have just fallen in love with pretty much everything he's output it. Uh, most recently, uh, John Wick Hex. He also, rather than just putting out these main games, uh, Mike Biffle also puts out a few shorts. Um, and one of the more recent ones he's just put out is The Solitaire Conspiracy, which is a solitaire-based spy game, I suppose, if you want to put it that way, um, that has some full-motion video clips in between, um, just as a way to anchor the, the gameplay. And, yeah, the guy's done it again. Absolutely done it again. What you get here is an absolutely outstanding solitaire game that has a really good story behind it that helps push you along. Um, there are twists uh, at certain parts that I won't spoil. Um, and you get a very, very good turn from uh, Greg Miller, uh, which I'll be silent for a second and give you a few seconds of Greg. Okay, okay, so, our little hacker problem. Uh, I don't know the source, unfortunately, but we have to assume, right, that it's someone associated with Solitaire. And now that you're level eight, I think I have a potential solution. Let me introduce you to our less corporeal agents, Omega Coda. This is cutting edge AI tech, right? It's built on the foundations of artificial life solutions, but before they got bought out. These aren't techs, they're completely digital. So Greg's performance was a lot better than I was expecting, uh, especially in a game, game like this. I wasn't expecting much in terms of quality of acting, um, especially from a non, an unknown actor, I suppose. You know, Greg's more famous for his hosting and, uh, and stuff like that. But yeah, it just really, really wasn't really good stuff for him. Um, and it just makes a really good story. The, the pacing of this game is outstanding. It is only short. You can complete it in a couple of hours. Um, but that's not the point. The point isn't for an extremely long game. It, this is a game that doesn't outstay its welcome in story mode um, and wraps up beautifully. Um, but if you still wanted just to do the solitaire side of thing, the game side of thing, there's a couple of extra modes that you can go and do um, that just add something extra to the game. And I, I, I yeah, I cannot recommend this enough. Um, it's going to be up there in my own Game of the Year discussions. Um, and we have a very... That, this is for 2020, of course. Um, and that's a, an ever-growing list. But this has put itself right up there at the top. And what it also does, it actually proves that not all the best games need to be massive slogs. You, you get your core premise correct. You get it done properly. And you produce an absolutely fantastic game. Uh, that's exactly what the Solitaire Conspiracy is. It's an absolutely fantastic game. Um, the two hour time frame, uh, time limit, it's not a limit, but you know how long it will take to complete is just right. Um, it just felt great to play throughout that time. It's not, you know, most people know Solitaire from basic Solitaire or Patience as it's been called. Um, this is a few different core concepts, such as you don't need to lay, for example, like a six on a seven and then a five on a six and a four on a five. You haven't got to go in order. The only real rule is that if you're, or say you lay a nine, then whatever you lay on top of that next has to be a lower number. So it can be an eight, seven, six, five, four, three or two. It can be any of those. Um, and then obviously chuck your aces in the middle and build that up. So ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Jack, queen, king. And the face cards, they all have, they're your agents within the game. They all have their powers um, and they will affect the stacks in different ways. Um, so sometimes you can brute force your way through. Other times you just need to be clever with it. Um, but yeah, absolutely brilliant. Discover it. I don't want to ruin too much about it. So discover this game. 
enjoy the hell out of it. And yeah, uh, Mike Biffle's an absolute god when it comes to these games. Uh, presentation, gameplay, the lot. Um, so yeah, if you like these videos, uh, please do like and subscribe. And until next time, goodbye.